Today, air suspension is installed on many SUVs and business class cars. Often, heated debates arise among car owners about the shortcomings and advantages of pneumatics. Before drawing any conclusions, it is worth understanding what an air suspension device is and how it is good and bad. Of course, modern high-quality shock absorbers make it possible to make driving a car with a classic suspension quite comfortable, but this, perhaps, is all that can be said about the classic. No matter how elastic the springs and springs of such a suspension have, the whole structure retains a high degree of rigidity. This means that the clearance of a car equipped with a classic suspension remains unchanged. This element has been designed and put into operation to provide the driver with a greater degree of comfort and a high level of safety while driving. Air suspension has become widespread on car trailers and cargo-type vehicles. However, business class passenger cars are also often equipped with pneumatics this gives the model a special status and attracts the attention of those who value safety and convenience while having the opportunity to purchase such a car. What is included in the air suspension kit? Before we get into the pros and cons, let's take a look at the components that make up a standard air suspension system. The air suspension also has struts, like any other normal car equipped with shock absorbers, only here the springs are replaced by air bellows. Typically, these cylinders are made of a mixture of rubber and polyurethane, and air is forced into them through an air receiver which is pressurized by an air compressor. The overall working system also includes sensors and a control unit. Control modules can also differ not only in different firmware, but also in a combination of different components in a single unit. Any design has its pros and cons. Let's analyze what is good and what is bad air suspension. Advantages of Air Suspension 1 the ability to maintain a given height of the car body under various loads. Even with uneven loading, the system maintains the correct position of the machine relative to the road surface. 2. The value of the ground clearance of a car on which air suspension is installed can be changed. This is especially true in situations where you have to travel off-road or on poor quality roads, for which our country is so rich. 3. Pneumatic system makes the car run smoothly. It is much more convenient for the driver and passengers to ride in a car with pneumatics than in a car with a classic suspension. In addition, the air suspension is very quiet. 4. A car equipped with air suspension moves smoothly without jerking. The body of such a car does not sway, in a turn, the roll of the car is minimal. All this contributes to good handling of the car on the road. 5. If the air suspension is mounted on a classic standard, factory mounts and springs last longer. 6. A car with air suspension significantly increases the mileage. Subject to all the manufacturer's recommendations, such a car can safely cover up to 1 million kilometers. 7. A vehicle fitted with air suspension has a higher carrying capacity than a vehicle of the same make and class with conventional suspension. Disadvantages of Air Suspension 1 The first minus of the air suspension is perhaps its cost. Modern systems are equipped with a host of auxiliary functions such as a pneumatic signal, automatic tire pressure increase, etc. This, of course, does not reduce the cost of construction, therefore, in the modern automotive industry, pneumatics are installed mainly on trucks and business class cars. 2. The equipment requires constant care, pneumatics do not tolerate dirt, dust and sand, so they have to be constantly monitored and cleaned. Needless to say, that in domestic road conditions this turns into a difficult procedure? 3. Pneumatic cushions are practically beyond repair. Therefore, if the pneumatic element is out of order, it will have to be changed. 4. In the cold, the pneumatics function with limitations so that fans of winter trips are unlikely to be able to fully appreciate all the advantages of this design. 5. Road reagents, which we love to treat winter roads so much, also significantly reduce the life of mechanisms. Having assessed the advantages and disadvantages of the air suspension, 
it can be argued that this design is very relevant for both trucks and cars. Moreover, the constant improvement in performance makes air suspension more and more popular and in demand. But, unfortunately, at this level of development of the automotive industry, we have to admit that pneumatics can only be afforded by those who are ready to invest significant money in a car, and most likely car owners who live in the southern regions of the country, where there is no frosts are so strong and there are not so many reagents on the roads. Well, it will be very interesting to know your opinion, and that's all for me, thank you very much for your attention, I will be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel, see you soon.